Hello, my name is Juliana Horton, and I'm here to talk to you about playing harmonics on the violin. Now, normally when we play our regular finger notes on the violin, what we do is we place our fingers firmly down on the strings, and what this does is it, it shortens the length of the string that is being played, and that shortens the wavelength, which raises the frequency and raises the pitch. Now, when we play harmonics, we do things a little differently. We place our fingers lightly on the strings at just certain points on the string that divide the string into fractions and thereby we move up the harmonic series. So for example, on the A string, that is the fundamental pitch and then the first overtone is an octave higher than that and that it, we do um, by placing our finger halfway up the string. Now, for the second overtone, we're going to go a third of the way up the string, and that's going to sound an octave and a fifth higher, which will be, the, which will be an E. So this is the fundamental again. The first overtone, and the second overtone. Now, for the third overtone, if we divided the, the string in half, and then we divided it into thirds, now we're going to divide it into fourths. So again, the fundamental, first overtone, second overtone, and the third overtone. Now this sounds two octaves higher than the fundamental pitch. Now, there are harmonics that go beyond that. They get more difficult to play and more difficult to hear, but I'll see how far I can go up here. We've got the fundamental, the first overtone, second, third, fourth, fifth, now the sixth, and this is a seventh, so it's the interval of a seventh, and it's it's kind of weak. So we'll see how we do here. As I mentioned, they get more difficult as you go up. There it is, right there. Okay, and then there'll be three octaves higher, which would be um, I'm lost now. But that's the next the next overtone now. We also have a hybrid that combines the two methods of playing notes on the violin. We call this artificial harmonics. What we do for this is we place our first finger down firmly on the string and this changes the fundamental pitch. And then we place our fourth finger a fourth above it and this, but we place this one lightly and then this causes the note to sound two octaves higher. So for example, if I play this note E here um, with my first finger on the D string, then I just place lightly my fourth finger above it and I get the note two octaves higher than that, the E that sounds two octaves higher than that. And with that, you can play harmonics, you can play scales with harmonics. So that's something that composers will use sometime. So I hope you've enjoyed our discussion of harmonics and good luck to you as you continue learning in your class. Thank you.